it's time for another Dr. Bob's Block. It's like sitting around the campfire, singing songs and telling stories. It's a regular kumbaya. Except, you know, there's no campfire. And there won't be any singing if we can avoid it. And there will be telling stories. I, and I don't even know what a kumbaya means. Anyway, this one is about stanchions. We put stanchions on the sailboat and they weren't strong enough. They moved around so we had to put some um, support plates underneath them. And also it's a little bit about the, um, the uh, cam clate risers of the little blocks we put underneath the cam clates for the jib sheet. This is all about the wind rows and sailing. That's coming up right now. Okay, this is Dr. Bob. We're um, we're in the yard today. I've got the uh, windrows parked in the backyard. I'll take a little bit of fence manipulation. Um, uh, this is basically an episode on how we finished the stanchions and reinforce them. So the stanchions were all the end, but the problem is I didn't have the windy out here. That's why I'm not putting the mast up. The mast is laying across the boat right now, but. Um, Anyway, so the stanchions here, they're already in. They are, this was the back rip. Oh, that doesn't look very strong, does it? But it'll, no. I need to tighten it up. Anyway, uh, this is all to keep you from falling. You know, I need to tighten these things up. Anyway, um, these I did tighten up. Let's see, that's nice and strong. Those I need to. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> These are the ones that I reinforced. This one is bolted to a piece of wood that's laid inside the uh, hull. It's, uh, and it's the same on this one over here. There's a piece of wood, a strip of wood that runs along the length of the boat, but it only goes out to this far, and right here is nothing but fiberglass, and it's not that thick. So I had to reinforce it with a, 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 an aluminum plate and as you can see that aluminum plate has made all the difference in the world unfortunately the only ones that are enforced were the ones that didn't go through that piece of wood now that goes through a piece of wood that goes through a piece of wood that goes through a piece of wood along with the fiberglass and so do these three over here but these three here had halfway, half of it through a piece of wood and half of it through fiberglass, which is not strong enough to hold. So here's what we did. Of course, I installed these things. Hope you can see these. I installed these things with little wooden blocks at first. And these are locking nuts, which were a pain in the neck to put on because there was so much thread there. But this is a quarter inch piece of aluminum. And as you can see, as I said, right here, there's just nothing but fiberglass right there. Now here, here there's a piece of wood buried inside the fiberglass, inside the hull, and that provides some support, but in my view, not enough, obviously. There's also a piece of fiberglass on this guy right here, or and a piece of wood, but as you just saw, it could probably do with a little bit more uh, reinforcement in that one as well. And the ones in the back, it wouldn't hurt for me to put, of um, course, <laughs> this is our is silicone, because <laughs> um, I had holes and a little piece of, but um, okay, so that it probably wouldn't hurt piece uh, to put uh, an aluminum plate right there. Now, uh, and I did that on all six of these, so uh, that one there, that one over there, and as you can see that one there as well, and this one, but each one of them had a little uh, indentation, or a quarter side, well, a, like I said, a piece of wood that was missing, that was built into the hull, 
and this is where that piece of wood is and you can see right there I slid that is a I saw it on the 3 8 and it was too much um, but this is a 3 16 now if you're going to put this kind of supports on your stanchions obviously you're going to have to go underneath the hull and see what you've got if you've got and you need to know how thick it is as well uh, the real test is when you need it so um, now how did I get these on? I'm going to tell you a little trick I, 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 I made up <laughs> I told because I'm by myself I don't have anybody to help me so this little tool right here is just made of a, an extent a, a telescoping uh, handle here and uh, this is a piece of PVC and at the end of it I strapped uh, I uh, zip tied a wrench uh, a ratchet and a socket so that I could put that there right and then uh, what I would do is untelescope this this is a telescoping uh, let me get the telescoping part and undo it alright so that, that that opens up and down like that so then I put that there and I support it with this up <laughs> and sometimes it comes loose uh, it's only happened about 20 times, <laughs> you just have to restrap it. But anyway, this I telescope that and lock it into place and then um, set the ratchet on, go on uh, take it off or put it on. And then I go up top with a, a drill and screw the thing in. So that was how I did those. And of course there are three on each side. I ordered it was uh, twenty-five dollars worth of aluminum plates. They were three by twelve inches. I cut them in half so that I had three by six. And then uh, I have six plates here, and I have six more. So if I want to do another one for that one, that one, and that one, so I can reinforce those, I have I have uh, six plates left. So three there and three there because as you saw, they they look a little bit loose. But at this point, I trust I trust the stanchions now for the first time. And gosh, what's that uh, place where it needs to be painted? Okay, I trust the stanchions now for the first time, and I'm very happy. I also learned if you put a board here, <laughs> it's a lot easier to get in and out of the out of the camera. Thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And for an organized listing of my YouTube videos, go to my website, www.wheremyplacebos.com, and click on videos. Have a great day.